Hi, I'm Danielle Windsor. I'm the Director of Learning and Public Engagement at the Andy Warhol Museum. And we are making short videos for um, families and makers of all ages to try out Warhol-inspired techniques at home. Um, so today we are going to be making uh, potato stamps. If you've never tried this before, um, it's a pretty simple process where you can cut forms into regular old potato and then use it to do all kinds of pattern making, um, experimenting with color and repetition. Uh, a lot of people don't know it, but um, early in his career when he was a commercial illustrator in New York City, Andy Warhol cut his own stamps. He used materials like rubber and linoleum uh, to uh, carve designs and then he could actually um, repeat that image over and over again in different combinations of colors um, and it was a technique that he used in his commercial career and his as a fine artist in making paintings so um, we're gonna we're gonna mess around with this at home um, so all you need uh, you need a potato you need a uh, a knife, a sharp knife works well. If you're working with kids, you can also try a, a kind of a butter knife. Um, it'll, it will cut. Uh, if you're using a butter knife, you probably want to do a simpler design. But what we're going to do is um, cut a, a flat pane on a potato. Here, I'll cut a fresh one here. Oop. And I'm going to take that side. It kind of helps to dry it off just a little bit. Um, suck up some of that moisture. And then uh, you can make a design. You know, Warhol worked with a lot of natural forms uh, in his stamp making, things like flowers and moons and stars. Um, I made a couple of those, but I also am enjoying just basic shapes. So um, these are also easier for uh, young artists to cut by themselves. Um, I'll demonstrate just with the butter knife so you can see how you might do it with kids. Um, but you're just going to follow the outline of your design. Um, cut down about, I don't know, you can go a half inch or so. Uh, I'm going to cut each of the sides here. Um, and we'll do this one. And then, there, I'm still going to uh, You're going to cut away those outside pieces. And what's left, this is also a way to talk about kind of um, positive and negative space, right? Your, the, the pieces that you cut away, uh, of course, won't hold any ink when you impress your design on the paper. Um, so looking at the shape, and here we got just a basic little square. I've also made a circle and a triangle, so it's a nice way to start um, looking at the way shapes form larger images. I'm actually going to take my pencil. I want to decorate this a little more. I'm going to go ahead and kind of put a little bit of texture, uh, and kind of a little decoration onto its surface. So it's not going to be just a plain old square. It's going to be a, a square with a little bit of um, a star on top of it. So um, now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and test out my stamp. Um, again, I'm going to dry it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and press it in my ink pad. Get a little blue on there. And there we go. I think I made kind of a snowflake without really meaning to. Um, but you can have fun creating some patterns mixing different colors. Um, you can also use a brush and just apply paint or even food coloring directly to the surface of the potato. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna try this now that I've made a few stamps. Whoops. Um, and it's okay if it's not perfect. More else works were never perfect. Um, we're gonna try this out uh, with my kids. Are you happy with this sharky? Yeah. Do you want to put a little eye for him? No. No? Okay. Pretty good.
pretty good. 